Hello and welcome to a Sunto Race Maps and Navigation video. We're going to dive into everything you need to know to get from point A to point B of your adventure. Let's go. Hello and welcome to an Active Ideas video. This is the Sunto Race and we're using this to navigate around the beautiful Thetford Forest. We're at High Lodge at the moment and I'm going to dive into points of interest, courses, routes and maps and uh, compass bearings. Basically everything you need to know about this watch. Okay, so we're going to begin. There's a couple of ways that you can navigate. You can choose to go down to the compass and from the compass you're able to access obviously the compass, you know where north is. And again, you can see how accurate that compass is. But if you scroll down, you're able to see that you can also request your location. So the compass is fairly basic, and then we'll go down to the map, and again, obviously the map is where you're gonna get a little bit more options with your navigation. You can see already that I've created some uh, points of interest, and we'll zoom in a little bit. So as I said, we're currently in Thetford Forest High Lodge, and I've created a few points of interest here. Our location is here, we're over on the Shepherd's Trail, and we're gonna head over to, this is the Go Ape Cabin. We've got the information point over here. Over here, we've got a point that I've called Elk, or Cameron Haynes, keep hammering. And then over here, we the start of the third trail which is an awesome kind of 5 to 12k route that you can choose to do and it goes around all these beautiful trails around Thetford Forest. So just to show you the different zoom levels we can go down to 25 meters that's as close as you can get. You can zoom out to 50, you can zoom out to 100 meters, you can zoom out to 200 meters, you can zoom out to 500 meters. We've got uh, one kilometer here and obviously 2K. You've got a lot of variation here and, and at this resolution you're able to see how close obviously the towns are in this deep thick forest that we're in. So zoom in all the way back in again. And I must say we have seen some updates to help with that refresh rate. Um, you can see how quick it is to kind of load the maps and scroll around. I think it's very impressive to be honest how quick it can zoom in and out. So to tell you the plan for today, we have got a route that we've started over at the information point and it takes us down to Go Ape where I work. It takes us over to the Elk and then up to the Fur Trail and then back to the information point. So I've created like a square plot. But the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to navigate from our current location, which is this dot here, over to the information point. For that, we're going to go down to the points of interest. We're going to go to the information point and also where the toilets are, and we're going to select that. It's obviously got the coordinates. It's also got the distance to the target. It's about 188 meters in that direction. We've got the altitude, 56 meters above sea level. Altitude difference, about seven meters, so a bit of a climb. <laughs> and yeah, the date I've created it. So yeah, we'll select this as a navigational point and we're gonna go on to navigate. So what you'll see here is the bearings. And again, it is over in that direction. So what you'll see is, is when I line up the blue with the cursor, it will take us in the perfect direction over to the information point. You can also see north is over in that direction. And as I turn my feet, how kind of accurate this compass is, it's insane. See, so yeah, we're currently walking towards our destination and we're also getting a countdown as well of yeah, the meters. It's going down from 150 meters, 147 and you can see that clock down of the uh, meters as we approach the information point and just for your information as well we'll line up the arrow with the blue cursor and we're just going to lift up the camera you can see if i put the cursor into the blue arrow it's going to take me over into that direction where that information point is and i would say we're now close enough to start the course um as i said the course starts at the information point so we're going to dive back into the watch and select the course we're going to navigate towards it and just start the route we're just going to follow what the turn by turn navigation says and the directions and again sorry about my throat i think i've got a bit of pneumonia going on i can feel it on the lungs today that building over there with us being only 100 meters away we're going to select the course now so i created the course on the sinto app and as i showed you earlier it's kind of a square route that we've got which starts over in between the car park and information point building so what we'll do we'll dive into the watch we're going to switch from the point of interest mode over to the courses and routes mode and i'll show you how to do that just now so what you do is you're going to press this button to access the menu down below and you can use the touch screen if you want or the scroll wheel to scroll down and as i said we're going to switch from points of interest is what we're currently on um over to routes so we'll go to routes and we've got the sunto race map video so we'll select that it's a rough square route like i said and you can see the distance is roughly about 600 meters we've got the ascent the descent <laughs> uh, pretty flat um, the highest point the lowest point um, and the date that i created the course so i can choose to navigate that or i can choose to do this in activity but yeah we're gonna stay in navigate only and then we go we've got the map loaded so as i said it starts over in that direction so we're gonna head that way and follow the map so i think 50 meters is quite nice so in a straight line basically over to the start 
head over to the information point building which is where the first point of interest is and then we're going to follow the route down to go ape past the cafe that building and cafe is just walking from the information point over to the the cafe and behind that's go ape which is over here we're going to walk past all that go all the way down towards the next point of interest which is the cameron Haynes keep hammering um i'll point that out later you can't really see it but it's again over in that direction behind the buildings even further so once we've got to the cameron Haynes keep hammering elk sign we're going to walk over to the fur trail that is literally all the way over there and we're going to walk back from the beginning of the third trail back to the information point building so let's go over to the start of our route and we're just going to see what happens when we actually get to the start walking through all of the grubs today it was really windy last night yeah there's just like there's branches that have fallen everywhere oh well, there's one thing to notice as well so part of the always on display is that it will go like this to safe battery where you can see the red route is the breadcrumb trail where we've been so far at the beginning of the video and the blue route is the beginning of the trail um, so yeah, to activate the screen, just flick that wrist and like magic, it just comes back on. But yeah, we're getting closer to the information point building now. Turn left. So I've just zoomed in there to 50 meters. Keep left. Right. So now we're walking towards those buildings. Earlier we were stood over there in the trees, but we're now heading towards the cafe. The guy up cabin is over there. Just zoom out again. So we're now stood directly on top of the elk. And uh, yeah, just zooming out, we'll just show you the trail that we've done so far. You can see where we started the video, walked up to the car park over to the information point, past the building, point of interest there, over to the Cameron Haynes. We're gonna walk over in this direction now, towards the beginning of the third trail, which is over there. Walking up and then back to where we started at the information point to complete the loop. trying to keep that screen on for you guys obviously it's not quite programmed for keeping your arm completely straight and trying to film a video so we're nearly halfway towards the fur trail just over there now we're now at the fur trail roughly where i dropped the marker yeah maybe we're a few meters off but you know i spent a couple of minutes making this route fur trail here as i said it's a beautiful kind of between 5 to 10k route which is the shortcut but they've also got a 12k route and one that I used to love doing after work, just heading this way. Off into that beautiful sunset, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. And we've got some uh, information here as well about the walking trails and the running trails and what those routes look like. And if you wanted to, you could quite quickly, I reckon it would take me three minutes just to kind of load up the Sinto app and just copy what the fur trail looks like on the app here so that I can port it to my watch and have that with me as a backup. Anyway, we're gonna dive back to the video and head back towards the start of our course to kind of complete that loop and uh, yeah, kind of sum up this section of the video. So we've zoomed out a little bit more and we're heading towards the information point now. End is in 28 meters, 27. Loving this countdown. You have arrived at the destination. And there we go, that's the end of the route. I didn't want to make the loop overlap because obviously it would get confusing with the beginning of the course and the end, but we're here at the end now. The start of the information point is there and we're just like, yeah, a couple meters away. So the next section of the video, this is the find my way back feature. Uh, we are still at the information point. Um, the beginning of the video, if you can remember, uh, just started over there on the shepherd's trail. So we're gonna select find my way back and just see if it navigates us towards that. So this is if you are on a mountain range, you've got completely lost and you just wanna get back to your car, back to your tent, wherever you started that expedition um, to get back to safety. So we're gonna select that kind of safety feature now and follow the instructions. We're going to scroll down and get to find my way back and find my way back has been selected. You can see that 174 meters back to the starting location. What we can do here is we can tap through as well and see these different information points. So your estimated time of arrival, if I start walking. Okay, so the estimated time of arrival has updated. So you can see that it reckons I'll get there in about 25 minutes. And again, I am stood still. So yeah, estimated time of arrival, uh, it reckons I'll get there at quarter past one. And it's going to take me yeah 12 minutes to to walk it we can also tap through we see the battery life of our watch 89 percent we can see the elevation <coughs> change 
um, in the time of day that it is in the minute. So the minute it's one o'clock, it reckons I'll take, you know, 15 minutes to get there. But yeah, find my way back. We're still 145 meters away from it. And again, it's similar to the bearing, which is lining up that arrow with the cursor, the blue cursor, and then walking in that direction. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. We've only got a little bit more to go through. And um, for you guys that are really interested in kind of bearing navigation, we're heading back in time with the bearing navigation. It's a very similar interface to what you're seeing now. Obviously right now we're finding our way back um, to the beginning of the start of the route. And the watch is just letting us know that we will be back to the car, to the tent, whatever it is, um, you know, in 94 meters. Um, but yeah, we're getting there, just heading towards that trail. We've got the Shepherd's Trail here that I said that we started the video on, um, and that is just down there. So we'll keep walking in this direction. 50 meters away now, 26 meters away now, and I'm sure we'll get that kind of arrived at your destination symbol in a second. Yep, you've arrived at your destination. So there we go. Whatever you're trying to get back to, obviously, you've completed the mission. So we've now got one more thing to try and that's bearing navigation. Unfortunately, we're not on top of a mountain top today and we're in Norfolk, so it's pretty flat. So what we'll do is I'm actually gonna fly a drone quickly to get a few shots and then we're gonna head back to the car. So I know that the car is parked back over at the information point and I know it's probably about three meters in incline. So we'll set the direction in terms of the compass for the bearing. We'll set the distance in terms of how far it is. We know because we've just walked that it's about 150 meters and we'll set the altitude as well. So we're gonna come out of the find my way back feature and we're gonna head past routes we're gonna head past point of interest and we're gonna to go to bearing navigation so I want to get back to the car I know my car is over in that direction so we're gonna point the watch towards the the car the information point and then select uh, that as an option do you know the distance yes I do and we're gonna tell it that it's roughly 140 meters and select that don't know the altitude. Yes, I do. It was about, what, seven, maybe three meters of incline. So we've selected that. And now if we put the boot arrow in the cursor, we're going to get guided towards the uh, information point towards the car. You have got the always on display mode there. So you can always see, even when the screen is quote unquote, you know, quote unquote off, you can always see um, your markers and bearings. Um, it is much easier with my eyes to see. There's a lot of reflection and the camera isn't translating great in terms of what the eyes can see. Um, but this is what it looks like. And then again, you can flick through, I guess, the different modes down here to get your ETAs, your battery percentage, the time of day, the elevation. Um, you can also obviously scroll through and see the map if you want to at any point. And obviously that red breadcrumb is the beginning of this video. We have walked and done all of this. So you can see the massive uh, loop we've done in a second, if I can scroll out a bit more. But yeah, we're heading back to the car. You can see the loop we've done to tick off all of those waypoints in the video. What else have we got? We can scroll through and get back to the bearings. So let's walk back to the car. So yeah, there's nothing special to see here. This is the bearings. And this is for anyone who's kind of getting to grips with the compass navigation. And this is for anyone who's kind of maybe in the military army, um, who wants to get into orienteering, or just wants to get back to basics with kind of using a compass, setting a bearing, and then navigating towards it with your map and yeah it's great to see it on here with the with the Sinto race and obviously you can switch between the bearing and the in the map as well so you can get a breadcrumb trail of where you've been and uh, obviously a direction of where you're going you're always being shown which direction is north as well we're now just getting told that we've arrived now at our bearing um, location. Obviously as well, you didn't have to set a distance. You can just have it plot a straight line for infinity. You don't have to set an altitude because you might not know the distance. You might not know the altitude. So yeah, that might be the best way to go anyway. Just look at something, point your watch towards it, and then, and then off you go. And as I said, one last time, if you have any questions with the navigation, this was a slightly advanced but fairly basic video. If you want any more information, leave a comment down in the description below. So thanks for watching. You know the drill. Like, comment and subscribe if you can. My slogan, dreams are a step away. And remember, show compassion, show esteem and have fun out there. Peace out.